I introduce myself to all of you. My name is Angeles Saura, and like everyone today, I have at least a double personality, a real one and a virtual one, teaching in the classroom and in the network. My classroom is in the Autonomous University of Madrid, but I participate in a lot of social networks and I use them with my students frequently. I'm in touch with many ex-students and we work together on artistic and deductive projects. Where do I come from? Spanish artistic context. Spain is a member of the European Union and a democratic state whose former government is the parliamentary monarchy. Its capital is Madrid and has a population of 46 million people. Its two most important national museums are Prado Museum, works made up to the 20 to the 19th century, such as Velázquez Meninas, and Reina Sofía Museum, from the 20th to the 21st century works, where you will find Picasso's gallery. Spanish art has a great prestige in the Western world. Some of our most emblematic works form part of universal, of universal visual culture. To highlight some of the most prestigious artists in the international panorama of the, ninth, of the 21st century, Jaume Plensa, Rafael Moneo, and Cristina Iglesias, the National Art Prize in 1999. Women are beginning to play a leading role inside artistic circles and to be recognized for it. There are many female professional artists. Where do I work? Split space, virtual and real. The webpage of our university is fundamental for the development of our work. All subjects have a webpage that keeps professors and students in contact. The use of the network in society has been a revolution. The big change is that we have split identities. We have a real identity and other virtual ones. It has had the same effect in education as, and as a result, our workplace has been divided. Classes have been turned upside down because of the role of teachers and students has changed. The plan is different and does not follow a linear order. Some teachers have started using flipping in classrooms. We have examined the current landscape of artistic education in science Spain and look for some examples of the influence internet and social media has on the development of artistic education in our country. We wonder what subjects are currently taught inside compulsory education and who are the professionals imparting them. We wanted to know the technology provided in educative centers and what is it useful. We wanted to understand how the use of internet and social media has changed education already and how it will change. We have become nomad We have become nomad Inhabitants of a strange landscape, of a strange landscape, conformed by external memories. We must not forget, must not forget that it is in our own internal, 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 internal memory, internal memory where, we where we find questions, questions about, about art and life. life. The question, the question helps, helps us grow. grow. How does the educational system work? How, how is does the educational, how is the educational system organized? Which art subjects Which are imparted in side-regulated education? Who teaches the artistic subjects in secondary and high school? How are the ICT, ICT applied? applied? What, what kinds, kinds of resources are provided, are provided for education? education? What, are our and what are our recommendations for the, recommendations for the enhancement of art education? Of art education. To look for answers, we took advantage of our contact through Facebook with many different organizations of drawing teachers. We coordinated a discussion group inside which artistic educators experts from eight different Spanish communities met. They are 17 in all. Many of these experts have no relation between themselves previously. In order to understand what is happening with artistic education and to come up with possible actions to improve the subject, from the university in collaboration with the pres president of the organization, Fernando Robles, we created the first national meeting of secondary and A-level education teachers. It was organized in Madrid on Saturday, 27th of May, 2016. Due to a fluid communication established through social media on June 22nd of 2016, the State Federation of Drawing Teachers was created. The organization is called O9 Plus, since that is the code for the drawing subject in high schools. The different associations inside the autonomous communities decided to join in the efforts due to the collective unease they feel about the arts in the current educative system. They have been many legislation changes during the latest years inside the educational system as well as several drawbacks affecting the drawing education collective and art education students inside regulated The art educators take active part in social media. From a long time ago, teachers have been critical of the approach educative policies 
have, in respect to artistic teaching, and have complained about the progressive disappearance of art education inside regulated teaching. These teachers have created organizations in different autonomic communities. Inside several of these communities, such as Andalusia, Canarias, or Madrid, 8 out of 17, drawing teacher organizations have sprung in order to regulate this subject and coordinate actions in order to make it better. Now they are organized to participate and have a voice in, educa in educational policy. Recently, on July 19, 2017, the representatives of the drawing teachers are received in the commission that prepares an educational pact. Artistic education is progressively disappearing from regularized education. During the 2016 to 2017 course, Spain has changed the evaluation design for A-level access to university tests. The subject artistic drawing and procedures is no longer evaluated in, this in the student's curriculum. These and other artistic subjects are no longer included in the access test for universities. Science and technology get ahead so fast that artistic educators feel it's impossible to keep up with all the advances. On the other hand, the economic crisis has affected the budget usually dedicated to educational centers, and so innovative projects incorporating technological resources to artistic education are underfunded in the respective centers. Although most schools do include computers or even digital whiteboards, it is unusual to use those resources for artistic education courses during the secondary cycle. Digital inter interactive whiteboards are not used in university levels because they can be used in such like Professors and teachers inside the artistic branches want to teach in an innovative way with internet tools. The steady and continual formation of educators is a must and should have in mind the formative necessities of nowadays and future students to conform new profiles and configure new departments. There is no one in better position than the departments to decide where the formation of students should go, if it's done correctly, or where should it reach next. Thus, taking advantage of the formative offer that is given by the administration of the educative centers, workshops, seminars, group projects, innovative projects, formative projects, social media and web support, and educative innovation. Artistic docents have taken the lead. We don't have to wait for the, for the education office or the innovation system to tell us what and how to teach in the classroom. Where are we going? We want. We are interested in contemporary art and try to leave the classroom to enjoy life. In Madrid, we have many opportunities for it. There is, this is when it's not possible, we use the network. Almost all museums and exhibition centers have a website that allows, in most cases, a virtual visit to them. Within the classroom, we perform artistic practices related to contemporary art. For example, we use the furniture as a sculptural objects. We turn our study center into a livable artistic space. Any event, for example conference, is a good excuse to create art facilities, always with a sense beyond the decoration or aesthetic. We use the artistic objects to invite to the reflection of students on subjects of interest. The future teachers investigate the different artistic styles and practice performance. This artistic technique is not used as an aesthetic exercise, but to reflect what our future teachers want to become. All, All projects, projects are, are summarized in an video, video or digital, digital presentations that are shared, that are shared in the classroom, classroom blog, blog so that, so that other groups can, enjoy, can them. enjoy them. From Autonomous University of Madrid, we promote a large number of artistic and didactic projects that have implied the participation of hundreds of teachers and students across the world. Our research in the show webpage established an investigative branch called Artistic Education for Social Justice. We are interested in the redistribution of artistic resources, recognition and representation of the work done by the agents involved in artistic education. The ICT resources and the use of the net have been essential in all. These images are a visual reflection made by my students of the concept of school and network. First, we have the objective house. Our house is a limited space, but with windows to the rest of the network. Doors inside, nothing happens, as what happens is part of the foreseeable, expected. He who inhabits the house knows it. Then we have a subjective house. We find an internal order with a structure and a limit in which to live protected of the harshness 
of a wider and partly unknown outer world, the net. However, each of the abandoned links that we find functions as doors or windows to other places on the internet. Each inhabitant has a different perception of the house. The net is a labyrinth in which to lose yourself sadly or cheerfully. When you know the house, you avoid the feeling of fear or stress. Inhabited house. The inhabitants of this house work as artists and architects of knowledge. Home with roots. The network works as a laboratory of ideas, open and dynamic space in which they meet from most for the most traditional artistic expressions to the most avant-garde, support the creators in the development of their initiatives with projects of diverse nature. It's a place of information, but also of cause of creation and action. Artistic house. Home is where your heart is. The network works as an alternative or complementary space to the real one. Avatar's exhibition. A collective, international and itinerant exhibition of portraits used in the net. The exhibition has two formats, virtual and real. Since 2010, it has been presented in 10 countries, Spain, Venezuela, Cuba, Brazil, Portugal, Colombia and other ones. Visiting the following 20 cities, like Segovia, Madrid, Porto, Medellín and Cyprus. This project was presented in the Congress organized by INC in Cyprus in 2012. I coordinated this project called Enredadas Exhibition, Enredadas means Untangled, which can be consulted as at this webpage. You are invited to share your artistic pieces, posters, in several collective international artistic exhibitions. Those are organized in different cities across the world for free due to the use of 2.0 tools. The feed is shown with some professors in charge of the coordination of the exhibitions in their cities, but all are joined in in creating artistic images which are sent by mail to the destiny where they will be exposed. Everyone is invited to join in at any of the exhibitions. They are all integrated simultaneously in May. Those artistic experiences created, unexpectedly and surprisingly, friendship ties between many other people that hadn't met before. We have been developing an active research consisting of planting seeds in the form of cultural art espacios. That's how we call the reserved places for artistic creation and exhibition of the images. We want to conform to the adequate visual culture of the members of the educational community and develop works involved with artistic expression. In this slide, you can appreciate the process inside the school. In this slide, you can appreciate the real art espacio created in another classroom. All artistic exhibitions have two formats, a real and a virtual one. In this photo, you can see the large size of the posters that have shaped the exhibition. We have another important event based on the use of web resources, the Artistic Education 2.0 workshops, composed of nine editions already. Attendance is not compulsory. It allows the sharing of innovative didactive experience performed in our classroom as well as the divulgation of other theoretical researches such as a PhD thesis. The terms are very brief, from 1 to 10 minutes, informal and original since they are shown in a video communication format. They are certified and shared for free. All of them pile up at virtual library at the following domain. My students are future teachers in the speciality of artistic teachings. This is my usual group photo. We started the course holding each other's hands, united all to express our main goal in the course, to get up, to end up tangled. Our net international projects have been presented since 2010 in more than 100 cities in the following countries. Every year, sponsored by the UNESCO and promoted by INC, we showed our work with the students is worthy of consideration. Through the use of social media, we have contacted each other, built an organization in each of the 17 autonomic communities, and since 2016, we have created the State Federation for Drawing Teachers. Now we feel we're not alone. By working together, we broke through all those obstacles that sometimes make us trip, fall, and feel tired. Together, we demand the presence of artistic subjects in the students' curriculum. 
the need to accomplish several bureaucratic tasks, write down programs for our courses, and write over complicated and complex evaluation won't bring us down. We keep on living passionately, moved by our love of art and our ideals. We work with tools and artistic procedures that develop social justice. We also advocate the right youths have to enjoy, or rather live, art and culture. With the development of the mentioned projects, we have demonstrated that art educators can do it, and we do have resources. We have a wider knowledge than we think. More importantly, our will and determination are transcendental for the sustain of the youth's right to have access to art as well as social transformation. Let's get tangled up. Thank you for your interest.